Welcome to the ePortfolio introductory video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your ePortfolio account, add some pages to the ePortfolio, and how to share those pages both globally or to a specific user. To log in and access your ePortfolio, you can do so from Brightspace from the ePortfolio link, or you can type in directly ePortfolio.mon.ca. When you're at ePortfolio.mon.ca, you click Login. If you're a new user, this will take a moment and it will create a new account for you in the ePortfolio system. If you already have an account, logging in will bring you directly to the dashboard. This is the dashboard for your ePortfolio. It might look familiar to some users. We are using WordPress as the back-end tool for ePortfolios. So if you're familiar with WordPress, you'll know how to use some of these features already. Some of the differences will be noted um, that MON has set up differently for me for ePortfolios for sharing content to users, which is not a default of the WordPress system. This dashboard is where you will be adding things like pages, posts, uploading media content such as images, PDFs, Word documents, and you'll set the appearance and sharing settings all in this area. This is your back-end tool. This is not what the user sees for your ePortfolio once you share content. A distinction needs to be made between pages and posts. For new users, they appear to be the same because when you add them, they look the same, but they are treated differently by WordPress. A post is what makes up the blog aspect of a WordPress site. Posts are listed by default in reverse chronological order. Posts can be viewed as the timely or news reflective sections of your ePortfolio. As such, they are dynamic and are created often and updated. However, pages are more for static content. In an ePortfolio, these pages will be things like your resume page, say, an About Me page, projects, published works and papers, presentations, assignments, things of that nature. Pages are not a part of the chronological list of blog posts. They are displayed individually and are typically linked from your site menu. For many based uh, assignments, you'll be asked to publish a page and share that with your instructor. In this example, I'm going to make a welcome page for the site to share globally. Then I'm going to make a section of the site for your course and show how that gets shared just with your instructor. So when you're under the Pages menu in your dashboard, you select Add New. I'm going to create the welcome page first. Selecting Publish does not actually publish a page for anyone to see. It's still locked down and secure. We'll show you how to share that after. So we have a welcome page. Create a page for a fictitious course called Course 1000. Publish again. And lastly, we'll add one more new page for an assignment for that course. If you ever want to know what these pages look like, you can select the View Page link. This is an example of what that page will look like to users once you share it. I'll go back to the dashboard. So right now none of these pages are shared. Usually when you add pages, you create a menu. Otherwise, they sit here in the pages list and nobody can find them because you haven't linked them up from your main page. So you need to have a menu. I'm going to create a menu for your course 1000 and I'm going to create a submenu item for it for assignment number one. To do that, you go to Appearance and Menus. Give your menu a name doesn't matter what it is, it's, it's not shown to the users. So you click, uh, give it a name like My Menu or Primary Site Menu. Click Create Menu. 
over here is a list of things that are in your site that you can add to the menu. We've added the pages for course 1000 and assignment number one. I'm going to click those, select those and click add to menu. This puts them over here in a menu structure. This is not the right order that they belong in, so you can, using this editor you click and drag them how you want them to be shown. So the top level is going to be course 1000. I want assignment number one to be a submenu item under that. To do that, you just drag it over to the right, and it indicates that it's a submenu item. Select primary menu, so it's used for your site, then save menu. So now when you go back to your pages, and for example, we'll open this one, course 1000, you see now that there's a menu showing, course 1000 and assignment 1. A new user to your site who's external needs a landing page for your site to visit. So we've already created a welcome page. We haven't yet told the ePortfolio system that that is the main page that people will hit when they visit your website. So you set that by going into the settings and reading. Your home page displays a static page. Select that radio button. Then the home page is welcome. Hit save changes. So all this means is that when someone visits your main page, which is this part, ePortfolio.mon.ca slash and then your username. Let me show you what happens there. So we put that in a new tab. So by default, it's loading the welcome page. Currently, all these pages are not shared and only are visible to you. So I'm going to show you now how to share these things in different ways. Firstly, let's set the welcome page to be visible to the world so anyone who visits your site will see something about your ePortfolio page. The first thing you need to do, and this is a one-time setting, is to go to Settings and Page Security. There's a checkbox here that by default is going to be selected as Protect Entire Website. I've already unselected it in my account here. So make sure it's also unselected in yours. After you've unchecked it, make sure you click Save Changes. The next thing to do is to go to your back to your page list. We'll go to the welcome page. I'm going to edit that. If you scroll down over on the right side, you'll find a selection called Restrict, Restrict Access. By default, all new pages have this checked. This means that it's protected and even though your site is ready to be shared, none of the pages by default are shared. If you unselect this here, you'll be told that it's erasing the security and making it accessible to the public. For a welcome page, this is fine. This is what I want to do. I do want the welcome page to be viewable, viewable to the world, so I'll click OK. Click Update. So now anyone in the world can visit the main page for your ePortfolio and see the welcome. The course section of this site, I'm going to show you how to share that just to one user. Right now it's not shared at all. So I'm going to share it to an example if you're trying to share your course 1000 to the instructor for course 1000 or teaching assistants, people of that nature that might need access to view your content to give you a grade. To do that, you need to first set up a user group to add to the security for those pages. You go to Users and click on Add Group. Give the group a name. I have already have one here that I've set up previously, so I'm going to call it My Instructor. Click Add Group. So now we see we have an instructor group, and there's no one in it right now. The users are zero. So we're going to click that to add some people to it. To add people to a group, you need to know their MUN user ID. So I'm adding a user here that I know.
type in the email address, you click add user. Sometimes you only need to add the username and not the full email address. There we go. So I have added one user to this group. We'll click Save Changes. So assuming that this is the instructor for the course and you want to give that person access, you go back to the pages. We'll go to Course 1000 back down to the restrict access section. We're going to select my instructor, add. So now we see that that group, my instructor, has access. You keep this selected because the page is still protected. If you uncheck this again, remember that it shares it to the world. So this is protected, but is shared with your instructor. So we go ahead, click update. And in the assignment number one page, we do the same thing. Go down to restrict access, add your instructor, click add. Don't forget to hit update. Now that their page is also shared to your instructor. To show you what these security settings are going to look like to someone on the outside versus how you see them, open up the site in a different browser or in a private browser window. So when you go to your ePortfolio, you'll notice a non-logged in user who is out there in the world will only see the welcome page. If you visit your site yourself, you notice you see the menu and assignment one. As these items in the pages in the menu are not shared to the world, the other user didn't even see this menu. So your instructor and you will be able to see the course 1000 and the assignment number one page. And to get back to your main page, you can always click the name of your ePortfolio over here. And you're back to the welcome page.